Hello, hello, and welcome to Great Builds for Great Sword, where I showcase all of the builds that I use most frequently in my hunts. The topic of today's showcase is a build that I refer to simply as the Tower. This is a set that is different from those I usually hunt with, as it has a particular focus on defense and making sure that the hunter stays alive in order to be able to continuously deal damage. In the same way, it strives to allow a good level of comfort. The philosophy is to survive and succeed in every hunt, regardless of how much time it takes to complete. Here is the complete breakdown. My weapon of choice is the Safi Shatter Splitter. It is hard for me to stray from Safi weapons as I find them to be the most versatile and powerful for the Greatsword. For its awakenings, we are going for a combination of comfort and attack. That means that we will be using three instances of attack 5, one instance of attack 6, and one instance of sharpness 5. As for its augmentations, we are taking one attack up and one health regen. Generally, I offer the possibility of dropping the health regen for more attack and status effect, but due to the spirit of this build, running the health regen is non-negotiable. Next is the armor. To achieve this build, we will be using the following pieces. Raging Bracky Helm B, Gold Rathian Chest B, Alatrion Gloves B, Gold Rathian Waist B, and Raging Bracky Legs B. From these, we will be able to take advantage of two different armor set bonuses. Offensively, we will have access to Agitator Secret, and defensively, Divine Blessing Secret, which is the base of the build. We intend to stay alive and Divine Blessing provides heavy damage reductions. The last pieces of equipment that we will be needing are the Agitator Charm, the Rocksteady Mantle, and the Impact Mantle. As you can see, both mantles are fitted with two attack jewels each, giving just a little bit more damage when each mantle is in use. All of this equipment is fitted with the following decorations. On the Greatsword, one Charger Vitality. On the Helmet, one Charger Vitality. Another Charger Vitality. And an Attack Jewel. On the Chest, one Challenger Medicine, one Critical Jewel, and one Expert Jewel. On the Gloves, one Challenger Medicine, and one Critical Jewel. On the Waist, one Expert Plus, and one Critical Jewel. On the Legs, one Expert Plus, one expert jewel and another expert jewel. It is easy to see that this build does not use many high rattery decorations. The rarest that you will find here are the two expert pluses. One of them is obtained from the Iceworm campaign and the other was gifted to the hunters during the week before Alatrion was released. The rest of the jewels can be obtained naturally by playing the game making this set very accessible to all players. All in all, we are left with the following skills. Critical Eye 7, Agitator 7, Divine Blessing 5, Attack Boost 4, plus 2 when the mantles are used, Health Boost 3, Critical Boost 3, Weakness Exploit 3, Focus 3, and Recovery Up 2. There is no secret as to this build's intentions. We want to stay alive and survive as much and as long as possible, hopefully for the whole hunt. As mentioned before, the damage reduction from Divine Blessing is incredible, making the most powerful monsters attacks feel like they are nothing. Also, the extra 20% healing from Recovery Up has great synergy with the health region augmentation. Any full or partial damage that the hunter takes will be very quickly healed with a few hits from the greatsword. This is a good general use build that can be useful to observe a monster with and learn its moveset the first couple of hunts. Of course, 
There are both good and bad things to consider when using this set. On the positive side is, first and foremost, the defensive capabilities. You will sincerely be very difficult to kill. In terms of comfort, it is at a high grade. The sharpness 5 augmentation makes it so that you will need to sharpen your sword very few times, if at all, letting you focus on survival and damage. Finally, both the defense and the comfort work in tandem when using this build in order to increase the success rate of every hunt. Failing a quest with this set is unlikely. Now, as for the negative, we need to mention damage. The higher grades of defense and comfort come at a cost of damage and raw power. Of all of the builds that I use, this is one of those that deals the least damage. As a direct result of this, your hunts will be taking a longer amount of time. In all honesty, I do not use this build very often. I keep it in my back pocket as a toolbox build in the case that survivability is required or if a brand new monster is so difficult that I need more time to understand it. In any case, it is a good set for hunting in a more relaxed state and I hope that you are able to have fun with it. As always, thank you very much for the time that you have given me. I wish you have a wonderful day and remember, please use more greatsword.